Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In case you're brand new here, I'm Stav and this is my channel, She Equips Herself. And you probably can see from the title of this video, I've been carrying a gun for eight years now. I know. I can't believe that that much time has gone by. But over the span of those eight years, I've learned a few things that I'd like to share with you when it comes to carrying a gun. If you like what you see in this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. And I'm also going to be announcing something very exciting at the end of this video, so make sure you stick around to the end. When people find out that I carry a gun, their first reaction is to say something like, you don't look like you carry a gun, or I never would have thought that you'd be carrying a gun, because, you know, there's a stereotype out there of what someone who carries a gun looks like. And apparently I don't fit that stereotype, which is kind of nice because I don't want people to know that I carry a gun or to suspect that I have a gun on me. But the first thing that I learned from carrying a gun over the last eight years is that the paranoia you get when you first start carrying a gun is going to go away. I remember when I first started carrying, I was like, everyone's going to know, everyone can see it. Like no matter how well I had it concealed, I just had this paranoia that someone was going to know that I was carrying a gun and like call me out or something. And I've learned that that slowly goes away over time. You might have never experienced that, or you might carry a gun for 20 years and experience it every time you carry a gun. But for me, it's gone away. Um, and I think that just comes from going out into the world and people just don't notice anything. And I think as the years go by, people become less and less observant. We're more into like what's going on with ourselves, on our phones. Um, people just don't notice things. So if you're nervous and you just started carrying a gun and you feel like everyone's gonna know, that paranoia is probably gonna go away. At least it did for me. Let me know in the comments if you've experienced that um, and whether it went away or not, or maybe you're, you're experiencing that now and that's okay, it's okay. But most people probably won't notice if you have a concealed gun on you, even though you think that everyone's gonna know. And I think that's something that helped in that area for me is just really understanding that I have a right to defend my life and the lives of those I love. So once you understand that, the paranoia kind of takes a back seat and it's not, it's not something you really think about much anymore. The second thing I want to share with you that I learned is that if your gun is not in a place where you can like grab it on your way out of the house, you might leave it at home and depending on the type of person you are, you probably will leave it at home if it's not available right there. So being able to grab your gun on the way out the way you grab like your keys and your sunglasses and whatever else, having them all in a place where you can grab them and go is going to be really helpful in developing that habit, which I'll talk about later, of carrying your gun every single day. If your gun is like in a safe on the third floor and you're leaving and you're in a hurry, you might just be like, oh, forget it, I'll leave it. But then if something happens, like that's honestly one of my biggest fears is that I'll leave my gun at home and then something will happen and I'll have no way to defend myself. That would just be horrible. So having it accessible is really important. There are a lot of really good safes out there that you can put places that would help you out in this regard. I have a lot of safes I really like. One more affordable option that you might like is one I'll share from Amazon in the description below. Do things to set yourself up for success whenever you leave the house so that you can grab whatever tools you need. Okay, this next one is an unpopular opinion, but I'm going to share it anyway because I'm sharing my own experience. If you have a different opinion, that's cool. We don't have to agree on everything, but I'm just sharing what I've learned. So, I've learned that sometimes carrying off body can be okay. I know. Some of you out there are like, no, don't ever carry off body. And I don't like to tell people to not do things ever because I don't know your situation. I don't know your abilities and your training. So I like to present all options and then you can use your intelligence to figure out what works for you. I've figured out that carrying in a bag many times is something that works very well for me and allows me to carry a gun every single day. I've shown a lot of different off-body carry options on my channel. I've shown you ways to make them more secure. I've shown you how fast the draw from an off-body carry option could be. And I really enjoy them because I switch out my outfits a lot. My husband, God bless him, can wear pretty much the same type of clothing 
every single day, like a t-shirt or a long sleeve shirt and jeans or cargo shorts. Um, but that's not me. Right now I'm wearing this like loose fitting jumpsuit thing. Uh, tomorrow I might be wearing jeans, the next day I might be wearing a dress. They're, like I switch up the things that I wear all the time. So having a way to carry in all my outfits is just, you know, I don't necessarily believe in changing your entire wardrobe to fit you wanting to carry a gun now. I think that there are ways that you can do it the other way around. You fit the gun into your lifestyle, which is something that I really talk about a lot in the Armed and Confident Academy. However, I know there are a lot of things you need to consider before you carry off body, which is why I'm gonna link a video here. Is it on this side? All about things you need to think about before you carry off body. I think I have a playlist on my channel about off-body carry. If I don't, I'm gonna create one so that you guys can watch all my videos on off-body carry if you're interested in it, because I share a lot of wisdom in there and tips and tricks and things you need to think about before you carry off-body. All right, the next thing that I learned is that much like anything else that you do in your life, carrying a gun has to become a habit. So many people will get their license to carry or their concealed carry license or whatever it's called wherever you live. They'll get their license, be able to legally carry, They'll get a gun, take some classes, and then they'll never carry their gun. And I believe that's for a few reasons. One, it's not accessible. Two, they haven't learned how to carry it, which I think that a lot of my videos could help you with if you're looking for some sort of concealed carry option that works for you. I have a lot of suggestions on my channel, but that might be a reason. And also, it just doesn't become a habit. It doesn't become something that you do regularly so that it becomes a habit just like taking your phone with you when you leave the house. And I can't remember where I heard this tip from about habits, but it basically said if you want to create a new habit, attach it to an existing habit. If you know who said this, please comment below and let me know because I can't remember the exact quote and who said it, but it's really good advice. All right, I had to Google it. Um, it's called habit stacking. And I'll link an article below if you want to read more about it because it's really interesting. But it's basically when you take an existing habit and you build on top of it to create a new habit. So I'll give you an example of habit stacking in my life. So every night after dinner, I would do the dishes. And that was my habit. I would just do it every night. That was a habit that I had established. Thanks to my friend Carleen, whose YouTube channel I'll link below, she's amazing. She talks a lot about a nightly tidy, which is like, at the end of the night, you basically like close up your kitchen like you're gonna start from fresh the next day. All the dishes that are drying on the drying rack, you put them away. Um, you start the dishwasher so that in the morning you can empty it. And you basically just start your kitchen over so that it's ready the next day. And that wasn't a habit that I had formed until I learned it from Carleen and wanted to do it. So. I stacked that on top of the existing habit of just doing the dishes every night and that became a habit. And so you can stack these habits on top of each other. So for example, with carrying a gun every day, if you have a routine where every day you leave the house, you grab your sunglasses and your keys. Put, like I said before, put your gun somewhere where it's kind of near those things so that you can add that habit on top of the one of grabbing your sunglasses and your keys. And then as you do that more and more, that becomes a habit and you'll do it all the time and it'll just become second nature. So try stacking the habit of carrying a gun on top of something else that you do before you leave the house and that way it'll become a more solid habit. The last thing I want to mention are all the opinions that you're going to hear over the years and I've heard a lot, mostly positive, but a lot of negative ones as well. And part of that is because yes, I put my life out there on the interwebs so that I can share all sorts of things I learn with you guys. But it's called personal protection, it's personal. So your convictions, the things that you've learned, your capabilities, those are all going to play into the way and reasons why you carry a gun. And so while you can listen to the opinions of others and value their opinions, ultimately you have to do what's right for you. You're gonna hear you shouldn't, you should or shouldn't carry a gun, why you should or shouldn't carry a gun where you should carry a gun, where you shouldn't carry a gun, how you should carry a gun, how you shouldn't carry a gun. Hold on, my dog wants to come in. Hi, buddy. Okay, all right. Ultimately, you have to do what's right for you because if anything ever happens and you didn't carry your gun because someone gave you an opinion, that's on you. So take all you hear with a grain of salt. 
keep learning because the more you learn the more you can share with others like if you have an opinion you can back it up with knowledge and experience which is what i try to do here okay quick update before i let you guys go mac and i have been working really hard on the practical handgun academy which is our new online course but it's a live fire online course so my first online course is the armed and confident academy which is all about the lifestyle of carrying a gun um, how guns work it really goes into a lot of the foundational principles you need to know um, before you carry a gun. So this course is going to go over a lot of topics and things that you practice at the range. Some of the topics we'll cover are like the draw, shooting from different positions, drills you can do out of the holster, all sorts of really helpful and impactful information. So keep an eye out for that. I'll include a link to my email list down below so you can add yourself to that. I don't send a ton of emails so you won't get spammed, but I'll let you know as the launch date approaches and I'll send out some more information on that. So if you want to know more about that course, add yourself to my email list. I'm really excited. Let me know in the comments if you're excited and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe. Bye.